Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dom and today we are checking out the Belkin Charge Sync Dock for lightning devices. Now it says iPhone 5 at the top, but it will work for all lightning devices. I can reassure you of that and it's pretty cool. We're going to go ahead and check it out, open it up and see what it's all about here. So this is the box as you can see. Just a, a plain white box here. We see the uh, Belkin dock on the front and then a little picture right there. And you see that uh, it's a, got a four foot cable coming out the back of it. So it's not that short, you guys. It, it is four feet. That's about it on the front here. Nothing much else going on. It does say it has a built-in lightning connector, which is good. Obviously, we would hope that it would. Now, Belkin did come out with one of these before this that was a BYOC solution, I guess. Bring your own cable. The only difference between this one and that one, and it's kind of a downside depending on how you look at it, is the one that you have to provide your own lightning cable for does have an audio output on the back because um, it's got a little head phone jack that sticks up right there not really a big deal to me but it might be to you so keep that in mind but this will charge and sync your iphone 5 ipod touch fifth generation or ipod nano seventh generation just like it says on the box charge and sync so on the side right here we just see that we have charge and sync dock nothing much else there and on the back we have a brief description little overview it does not come with a way to plug it into the wall so you have to use your iphone's power block just like that plug it on there plug it into the wall you're good to go not much else going on here it just kind of tells you the devices that it's made for right here ipod touch ipod nano and iphone 5 let's go ahead and get into this box here like i said there's not much going on here nothing special really so let's open this up check it out and see how it looks all right so we're going to pull this off right here and pull this guy out all right so here is our lightning dock let's grab this take that out of there so there it is just like this it's a little it's kind of weighted it, it actually has a good amount of weight to it which is good so it will definitely keep your iphone in one place there it won't be moving around on you or anything like that and as you can see here this kind of unravels a little bit we have that nice four foot cable there and let's get this plastic off here here is the dock itself. You see Belkin on the front. We have our nice little lightning connector on the inside, which um, does have a little movement to it. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but it does have a nice open spot here. So it may work with some cases. As you can see, it's got a pretty big open gap there. Here's an iPhone 5. It has a case on it right now, as you can see. We're just going to see if that, that'll fit in there just perfect with plenty of room left over fits in there with tons of room left so it may fit with a pretty decent sized case there which is a good thing I believe that is a great thing actually because a lot of docks don't tend to fit with cases and on the bottom here we do have a nice rubber texture to keep it from kind of sliding around on the table here it kind of gets it a good grip there on the table which is nice as well so your iPhone won't fall over now like I said on the back we do not have anything special on the Belkin iPhone 5 dock that you have to bring your own lightning cable for and kind of insert it in through the bottom and pull it up to the top it does have an audio output on the back because there's a headphone jack right here and you guys can go check that out and i'll have some links below in the description of this video but overall this is a pretty solid dock i mean i really do enjoy it it's nothing special but apple does not have a solution and i don't believe they are going to have a solution so this is the next best thing so let's go ahead and put this guy on here this is the ipod nano now that Honestly, that looks kind of weird being uh, off to the side like that. It kind of bothers me that the lightning connector is off to the side, but that's how Apple made it. So forever, this little iPod Nano is going to look stupid on docks. That's just how it's going to be. But it does work on iPod Touch. It works on the iPhone 5, iPod Nano 7 generation. So overall, the build quality of this thing is, uh, is pretty comparable to any other solid dock that you would buy. It is hard plastic. It's not metal or aluminum as it may look but it is made of hard plastic and I don't see it just breaking anytime soon I definitely recommend go checking out one of these guys right here it's a perfect solution if you're looking to hold your uh, lightning device on the table standing up you know you can kind of just set it however you like but you can pick up one of these for around 30 to 34 dollars on Amazon I'll leave some links in the description of this video check it out and be sure to let me know what you think down in the comments below Thanks again for watching everybody. This is Dom and have a great day.